A bipartisan vote of 301 to 123, the House passed a continuing resolution that funds the government through November 21. The resolution includes a provision that will allow the Ag Department's Commodity Credit Corporation to continue to make aid payments to farmers, and that includes market facilitation payments to help make up for lost export sales due to recent trade wars. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison held a joint news conference with President Trump at the White House talking trade. Obviously, we're keen to see the United States and China be able to, to come to an agreement, but what is always necessary is deals have got to be fair, deals have got to be good deals, deals have got to be sustainable deals. And I think one of the things we've seen, Australia has benefited greatly from the, the economic growth of China. We have a comprehensive strategic partnership with China and a, a free trade agreement with China. And uh, they have grown and they have become you know, a substantive economy in the world. And uh, once you sort of get into that level, uh, then you need to be able to be playing to the same rules of, as those other developed nations. And uh, I think this is, you know, the, the new, new generation of deals I think we'll see China do, which the President has been working on, and he's been working on it for some time, and we wish him well in that process. There are some real serious issues that have to be addressed in that deal. Uh, things like intellectual property, it's a, that's, a, that's a big issue, and it needs to be addressed. So we look forward to them achieving it, and, uh, and, and that providing, I think, the broader certainty and stability to the global economy, which, which all nations will benefit from. Firefighters said they've recovered a man's body from a grain elevator north of Fremont. The Dodge County deputies say that employees with Interstate Commodity Incorporated called for help around 2.30 Sunday afternoon, saying that an employee went into the grain elevator and did not come out. The Grain and Feed Ingredients Company is near Highway 77 and County Road T. I'm Susan Littlefield, the Rural Radio Network. This is Jane. She thinks she's just filling her car, but she's also filling the air with cancer-causing toxic chemicals used to boost octane and gas. What doesn't burn in the engine enters the air and your lungs, even your heart and brain. Bad for everyone, especially kids. Ethanol is a natural octane booster, clean burning and non-toxic. More ethanol means less scary stuff in our gas and in the air we breathe. And that makes your choice pretty plain. Jane, American Ethanol. Cleaner air for Nebraska.